Welcome back to the Sib P55 podcast. My name is Preston Sibley. It has been a while since we've done a podcast, but I'm here with Matteo and Andrew. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Good? Good. I'm good. Good. It's, um, the weather is holding up today, so that's, that's nice. It's nice and early, 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, but do you guys just want to give a little bit of information about who you guys are, what your business is, stuff like that? Yeah, sure. So, obviously, my name is Matteo. Um, this is my partner, Andrew, and we're both education students at Niagara University. Um, and I'll let him speak to a little bit about how we all got started. Yeah, so uh, we got started um, with the idea in October. I remember one night we were just sitting in the dressing room after hockey, having a discussion about our jobs, and I just remember giving him the idea that I wanted to start something like this, and our eyes both lit up, clicked, and from there we just took off all the ideas, planned it out, and then we started up in April. Yeah. So and, specifically, yeah. obviously, uh, we run out window cleaning, pressure washing, basically an exterior home we need, uh, cleaning service. And that goes as far as Port Colburn and as close to us as Niagara Lake. Cool. Yeah. Um, and how did you get involved? Like, what was your first step? Honestly, the first step was just getting business certified. Like, just like we had the talks, you know, for months, but it was just like being able to actually do it. Mm -hmm. Had to get started, and once we got started, it kind of just things started to fall into place. But that's how it really got started, just actually getting business certified. Mm -hmm. So. From what I understand, you guys went through the summer company? That's right. That's right. And that, now, how did you find out about that? And, like, what was your opinion about it, basically? Yeah, so in early April, obviously, when we were looking to get business certified um, and go through the legal steps of opening up uh, an incorporation for our business, um, I was doing some research on how to apply for grants because I knew that, you know, people that were younger and in their teens um, were eligible to receive some sort of. Um, stipend to spend um, mm -hmm. for the government because they're you know trying to motivate young entrepreneurs and I never realized there was one there was a hub here in Niagara um, until about a yeah. month later yeah um, it's really convenient for us and obviously you went through it last year it did, yeah it's a great program it's great to mentor um, young learners and, and young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. so we applied and thankfully we were accepted and now we're going through the process of being mentored and so, so you're in your your month, uh, weekly uh, mentor meetings and stuff yeah so that application process because now I've done it as well yeah. it's like you don't know if you're gonna get it you don't know if your business plan is yeah. proper enough you know what I mean they get hundreds of applications and they select six of us That's right right yeah. so did you think you were gonna get it Do you like or what was that application process like for you guys I mean I'll answer that one like I remember we got this, uh, it took us, for, for whatever reason, it took us a few weeks to actually yeah. be able to fill out this application. We kept mm -hmm. getting like blank PDFs and it was actually pretty chaotic, right? Really? But once we did it, we sat down at my dinner table and we just, you know, we came up with a plan. We didn't really have an mm -hmm. actual plan, but we made one. And, you know, we read it over and we thought, this might work. We might get in. And we, I think we were pretty confident yeah. that we were going to get yeah. it. Um, and then we, we happened to get it, which was awesome. So you got the call from, was it Dean? We got an email from Dean. Email. You got an email from yeah. Dean. Yeah. And then went in for the, was there an interview process? It was a Zoom call, which was an interview. Okay. Yes. Okay, so they've switched it up a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Dean's, I don't, Dean wasn't a part of it at the start of this year. It was more Sala and Alejandro. Alejandro, yeah. But now Sala's leaving, so. Really? Yeah. He had just started when, yeah. when, when I, when he joined halfway through ours. Okay. Well, so he was yeah. Yeah, he was only there for a short time. Yeah. yeah. So the grant that you guys had received from the summer company, how did that impact your business? And what did the money go towards? Yeah, I mean, it's huge, 1500 at the start, 1500 at the end. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, like you have to get some heavy machinery for the stuff we do. Uh, mm -hmm. We bought a pressure washer for around 600 bucks. That was our first purchase. Okay. Um, the next purchase was we bought a surface cleaner as well, so it kind of sped up our, our process of cleaning concrete, wood, and siding um, by about 75%, which was really beneficial. Mm -hmm. So beneficial. The thing is, you know, when you start a company like us and you're providing a service, obviously you need to invest in equipment at the start. Makes sense. So we're in early May, you know, buying whatever we can with whatever money we saved up in the mm -hmm. winter that we didn't, you know, didn't have the time to work jobs for. Yeah. Um, so this was really awesome to kind of give us an extra boost in June. Um, and this kind of took our services to the next level. Mm -hmm. And sure. now I feel like we almost have all the equipment we need. Yeah. So we feel so much more confident in our service as well. Mm -hmm. I guess when you lock down on 
your specific niche, you know what you need to buy, yeah, right. yeah. and then once you have it, you're you're good, right? Yeah. Did um, I have a question? The you you know the TikToker Josh who does the window yes, cleaning? Yeah, did yeah. he inspire you guys at all a little bit? You know what? I will have to say a little bit. Uh, he would come up on my for you page all the time. Yeah. Just like that within the past few years. Yeah. And we always kind of joke about it, like, "Wow, he's so good." Like this guy's just yeah. getting. Yeah. He goes yeah. up. He, he pitches and he sells. Like he sells. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's definitely impressive. Not everyone can do that. But yeah, yeah I'd say he has. He's had a little bit of an inspiration. Yeah. You know, for mm -hmm. definitely somebody to to model your business after. Makes sense. Um, but I wouldn't say we go into every day with the same mindset. You know, on the grind of going on people's doorsteps and, yeah. and kind of bugging them a little bit. We, we tried that for a little bit, obviously, because we had no clientele to start. Mm -hmm. um, but that's really tough, and I don't really like approaching people when, when they don't feel like being, being talked to. Makes sense. So what we're doing now is a lot of advertising, getting our name out there, and in return, we can have people come to us. Okay. Which is a lot easier. And, mm -hmm. uh, as well, we're kind of focusing on the pressure washing aspect of it. Okay. Um, you know, we have a bit more fun doing that, and we, we realize there's more clients for that. That kind of service. Makes sense, yeah. It's almost like the when you come, you knock on a door, you say, can we clean your windows? It's like the yeah. same pitch they get every time, right? Yeah. So if you offer them something different, like pressure washing that people hate doing because it takes a long time or they really need it done, you could get a, a better response from them, right? Yeah. yeah. So you said uh, you go to Niagara University, just over the border. Yeah. Um, has that helped at all with learning how to run a business or... Are you guys in different, like, what, what are you taking? I'll start. So I'm taking um, education, studying to become a teacher, okay. a school teacher specifically, and we're both minoring in business as well. So with some of the courses we've taken, and also just, like, studying to be a teacher mm -hmm. helps you be able to speak in front of people, you know, just be able to kind of feel comfortable speaking in front of people. Makes that sense. helps us for sure. Makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I'm studying to become a high school teacher, and... Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm going to become an elementary school teacher. Um, but we both minor cool. in business so that one day, you know, hopefully we can elevate that status and, Makes sense. and work our way up through the school mm -hmm. board. But um, it's definitely been beneficial. I didn't take any business courses throughout high school. I know Andrew has. Mm -hmm. But one of the main steps of getting started is obviously bookkeeping and, you know, making sure everything's set yeah. and proper mm -hmm. for business. So we did take an accounting course and that helped us a lot understand the basics of business before we got started. Um, so kind of balancing that and then you know, figuring out how we can apply that to our business was really mm -hmm. special for us. So I remember what I was going to ask you is before you guys applied for summer company, did you have any clientele at all? No. Nothing? No? Uh, you just went in there with, yeah. we want to start a business, that's teach right. us how to? We just came up with a business plan. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Sometimes that's all it, it takes, right? I remember when, when I applied, I applied with four days before the deadline. Because wow. I was like, I don't know if I want to go through this. I don't know yeah. if I'm going to be able to learn it all. Um, and then one day I was just like, all right, I should just do it. Yeah. Uh, and so Dean had sent me the, like, the template for the business. But first of all, I'm like, I don't know how to create a business plan. I know. Yeah, and then he's like, just follow the template. I'm yeah. like, okay, that works. Because yeah. I'm like Googling, I'm like business plan templates and trying to learn it all and yeah. it's just really confusing. It's and then learning process. once he sent me the template, I was like, okay, I can do this. So, But it was it's been like four days and I was just like, I don't think I'm going to get it. And then it just worked out. But um, yeah, really cool experience. And you said that they showed the video? Oh, yeah, and the, the video. The first time that's cool. Yeah, that was cool. I didn't know they were going to do that. Yeah. We did that here. Yeah, really? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Uh, it was like the thank you video, yeah, was yeah. it? Yeah, we did it here. It was just like, what can we do as a thank you? And yeah, no, it was really nice to get you. It was just, I didn't expect them to show it. They didn't tell me they were going to. They had talked about having me come and speak, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, Okay, we're going to interrupt this episode to give away a $25 uh, voucher for Breakout Escapes in Niagara. So all you have to do is go to my Instagram, like my recent post, Follow me, follow them, and comment uh, why you should win, and we will pick someone to win a $25 gift card. So how do you balance your studies with the business? Especially, you guys are going to school over the border, and I, it's summer now, so you guys are fine, but when you go back, how are you gonna balance the two, especially like working here and going to school there? Yeah, um, well, like, keep in mind as well, it's, just, it's more of like a seasonal, uh, type yeah. of job so 
I don't think we'd have to worry too much about that past maybe September. But you know what? Like even just for that month, we will have to balance it a little bit. So mm -hmm. how we're gonna do that, we haven't experienced it yet. So we're just gonna take Makes it step sense. by step. But it's gonna have to be something in the back of our minds. I think. What do you mm -hmm. think? I think, yeah, I think one of the things that uh, will help us for sure is definitely that, you know, Andrew does live at school, he lives in, in Lewiston, but I, I still live at home, so I can eat every day. Okay. Uh, so if we ever needed a job to be done on the weekend, I'm already here, and I have all the equipment with me. Makes sense. I'm also only 20 minutes away, yeah. so I could just, yeah. you know, hop back over and yeah. get some help. Would you think about trying to get business over there, or no? I don't think you legally can, because it's another country. Oh, you would need a, a work permit? It, would that be something that you would look into maybe in the future if definitely look into it yeah um, yeah we do play hockey over there so we have we have you know a pretty good community that we can interact mm -hmm. with but it's just too risky for us and, and we don't want to lose anything with our makes business. sense yeah did uh, did any of the entrepreneurship start as a kid or when you were younger or did it like just start mo more recently I would say it just started recently and uh, I feel like I've never really wanted to pursue entrepreneurship until maybe last year. I mean, that's at least how I feel. Uh, it just was kind of a feeling where I wanted to start something. I wanted to be mm -hmm. new. I wanted to, you know, change something about myself. And now I'm in love with it, to be honest. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I'm really excited. No, that's a really good answer. Yeah, I agree with Andrew. Definitely recently. And I think one of the things we had in common was we didn't like being... Um, you know, kind of being someone's employee. You know, like, yeah, you want to be your own boss. Exactly, right? So it's the reason why everyone starts their business yeah, is sure. you either have a bad experience with a job and you're just like, you're fed up with it and you just want to, I just want to work for myself and you just have, you just have the passion and the, the drive to do it, right? I think so. anybody can have that idea. It's just a, a, when the moment, you know, opens up for you and, yeah. and we finally got our idea. So I'm glad we found it. We did. Yeah. So I hear that you did some work for the mayor of Niagara Falls. What was that experience like? Like, what went through your mind when you got that call? Yeah, so Mayor Jim is obviously really good with helping small businesses in Niagara. Yeah. Um, you know, that's one of, one of the things that he promotes a lot, and we're very appreciative for that. So he heard about us, and, and he had let us know that he needed some pressure washing mm -hmm. done, as well as some windows, uh, exterior and interior. So we went over there, we did a great job for him, made sure he was happy, and then we took a couple of videos. Makes sense. Which he uh, let us know that he was going to post for us, which mm -hmm. we were very thankful for. Um, and, you know, as a result of that, people had started funneling through our website, um, and we're very grateful for, for what he had done mm -hmm. for our business. Nice. Yeah, he's definitely helped it grow and make it that much better. Mm -hmm. So we very much appreciate what he did for us. Yeah, very nice, nice guy when yeah. you meet him in person. Yeah. What do you want the future to look like for your business? Uh, well, we're in our first year, so yeah. we don't necessarily have a plan, but what we'd like for it to look like in the future is something that we can do in the summers uh, when we're teaching. Makes sense. Obviously, it's a long way down the road, mm -hmm. but that is the plan. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we're looking to scale it, and uh, you know, the first year is always a learning process. Exactly. So once we can perfect it and, and understand fully you know, what services we provide the best, what we can improve on, and how to, how to access people, how to access mm -hmm. our clients, then I think we'll, we'll be in a uh, very trash. Nice. So you mentioned, sorry, do you want to? No, 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 I was going to say. You mentioned uh, being in your first year, it's like a learning progress. Have you had any challenges? Like, have you faced anything? Or, on the flip side, I like guess success story that you've noticed that your business is like, this is the right thing, you know what I mean? It's taking off? I think, uh, well, I'll start with the, the flip side of the success. I think we had a moment once um, we gave a quote that was way too much money. And we both realized it after, like, what are we doing? Like, <coughs> we, we gave the price, we didn't really talk about it, and we just kind of said, yep, this is the price. And mm -hmm. the owner, you know, they were just, you know, their eyes lit up, like, holy, you know, that's mm -hmm. a lot of money. And yeah. we got back in the car, we're like, oh my God, like, what, what were we thinking? And yeah. that was something, I think that was like a big turning point for us. Yeah. Like we, after that, we really started taking our quotes seriously and mm -hmm. providing a, a lot better with us. Yeah, that was, yeah, to, to bounce on that, that was probably one of my biggest things too is not knowing how to fit in with the market. Yeah. And especially, so when I get a job, I'm like, okay, you want to set this amount of time to go on a film, how long is it going to take me to edit? Yeah. So I just did a project recently where I quoted, I think, lower than I should have. And I didn't want to go back and be like, oh, it's taking me longer than I thought. I need yeah. to, to upcharge you. So I, 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 I 
bite the bullet basically on yeah. it. But you know, um, it's really difficult yeah. because it's like you're playing with your own time. You know, like uh, another challenge we had was we really wanted to get into the commercial space, and we have mm -hmm. we have about two properties right now that we'll clean monthly. Um, but one of the things was we would go into plazas, you know, by high schools where there's lots of restaurants or there's lots of uh, clinics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we realized very quickly, you know, it's very difficult to get into a place like that because more or less there already is somebody there. Mm -hmm. But it's not even your third time. Like, if you're cleaning a storefront, it's going to cost you $25 in order to be competitive with the market. Whereas, Makes you, know, sense. you can go to a house in 10x that and do it in, you know, maybe double the time and stuff. Yeah. So we realized pretty fast, like you said, what's worth our time, what's not, and uh, mm -hmm. how to properly price our services. Makes sense, yeah. It's like um, you want to you wanna be like the, the cheapest so yeah. people would say yes to you, but then you also don't want to undervalue yourself. Or you can't be too cheap because then people are like, well, why are you so cheap and why is this the average price? Yeah. So you, you kind of have to price yourself with the with the market and what's fair for your your, your value, right? So At first, that's really difficult because you won't see a lot of clients coming in. Mm -hmm. But over time, like we've seen recently, yeah. people start to come back. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, some people will eventually agree with paying that price. Mm -hmm. So is the monthly cleaning where the market is at instead of one-off jobs? In terms of without without giving away like yeah, yeah, no, what you guys charge and stuff. In terms of commercial jobs, that's definitely where the market's at. You know, <laughs> nobody wants their windows done just once a year. Yeah. Um, if yeah. you know they're going to have a lot of foot traffic around their store, around a lot of restaurant fingerprints on the doors and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And a lot of restaurants will, will just let their their staff do it themselves, and they yeah. either do like a really bad job because they they don't have the proper equipment. Their staff doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. They're just so. They're just, yeah. It's definitely an opportunity we've been mm -hmm. taking advantage of, but it's not something that we kind of go out and seek all the time. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Was there anything else that we didn't talk about that you wanted to talk about? Other than other than where can people find you and stuff? Yeah, it's a more success story. Like, yeah? Wait, well, I don't know if we covered that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have a, a specific success story. I mean, I can try to think of something. Mm. Uh, well, I think we, our business started to become more successful once we introduced the pressure washing aspect. Like at first, I'd say 80% of our clients were just for the windows. But once we started like giving them, giving them the idea that we also pressure wash, mm -hmm. like that's where, and then especially like some of the videos we made, just like that's where our success is really, I think, like especially recently, just in the pressure washing aspect. So that's that I think, where we've become very successful. And what's something that we didn't really expect Mm -hmm. Windows would be our main priority, but recently I think it's been pressure washing. Yeah, and the reality is, like, we've invested heavily in our pressure washing equipment, and anybody can clean the window. You know, our our thing is we do it by hand. We don't use any sort of you know chemicals <laughs> or or really savvy equipment. We do everything by hand. We take our time. We use ladders. And, Makes sense. And things like that. But we realize what we're good at, and we're just trying to advertise that now. Yeah. yeah. And where can people find you? Yeah, so people can find us on uh, Titan Z and then Clean with the Z, no space in between on Instagram. Yeah. Um, our website is titanscleans.net. And then. Why .net? I don't know. Be that was in the domain that yeah, it was the cheapest, so we yeah. did .net. Smart, it's smart. It's the way to go. Yeah. yeah. And only Instagram or any we other? We also have a Facebook and it's the same Titan. Okay. Z, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, all their stuff will be linked in the description below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Go follow them on all the social medias. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. We have one more clip that we're going to film.